all right y'all here we are with our new adventure the uh grand design momentum 31g toy hauler give you all a good look at it and then we'll we will uh take the tour all right 35 feet 11 inches gross vehicle weight rating 12,000 pounds said 2021 grand design momentum 31g we uh are very determined as we normally are here to uh to show the good to show maybe the not so good and uh we overall we love it and uh it does have a couple issues and we're, we're we'll show you those and uh, grand design has been very very helpful and, and very very proactive about taking care of of the couple issues that we have and uh, one thing that we that we really liked about these uh, the fiberglass front cap uh, it's a painted cap just really nice there's uh we'll show you these lights in just a minute but there's some lights there that are in the front cap not a lot of storage on any of these travel trailer style toy haulers and uh, on the outside this is pretty much it see what's going on in here uh, you just saw the light come on so see there that uh, it does have a motion light and you get this you, you notice I, I got my tripod in there it's a very very tall storage about seven foot tall storage there so it's pretty much all your exterior storage but um, pretty good space you notice that these uh, these doors are all insulated and uh, they all have magnetic hold backs which is really nice I'll show you up here it's hard to see in the daylight but it does have i think they're about four foot leds in this cap so kind of a cool thing got the uh way safe hitch on there love that thing got another video on that i'll, I'll link that video in this one as well the battery that uh, the dealer put on there i'm sure it's fine we're actually going to change over to uh, a different battery we'll have a video on that as well 220 pound uh, propane tanks there and and while we're here we're gonna we're gonna see if we can show the the first problem and uh, it, it's really a disappointment to me I'll just be blunt but kind of hard to see hopefully you can but there's just a deformed spot in this front cap and uh, like I said it, it's it's disappointing to me but I, I'll, I'll be honest with you grand design's been very apologetic and they're sending a new front cap and our dealer which is uh wheels rv toddy town arkansas will be taking care of that for us and uh they've been awesome to work with too and i'll i'll link to their to their side as well so does have manual jacks absolutely no problem just run them down you can see i've i've made already to cut up six by sixes put handles on them so make my own jack pads uh, your low point drains super easy to get to right there if you want an outside television i doubt we will but there's cable and there is uh 110 right there but this is just pretty standard fold out aluminum steps uh, nice grab handle uh, grand design does have one year warranty on everything three year warranty on the structure and uh, you see i'll back up so you can get a better look at it but this awning i believe is 18 feet on this so a uh, really nice power awning it's a carefree some of these have the they actually put the lights up on the coach themselves this one has the lights in the roller and and i, I must say that that I, I like that much better you can actually bump that roller around a little bit and aim those lights wherever you'd like uh which i like much better so let's talk about slides for a second these uh all grand design slides are all walk-on slides and they have the laminated walls uh, so they're i mean they build a great great slide it does have the rockford fosgate sound system we'll look at that when we go inside but it has out outside speakers as well 16 inch goodyear endurances uh, very happy to have those on there um, just really sold that we the goodyear tires are just are, are good that's for sure second entrance into the garage uh, another absolute must for us uh, on this and we'll talk about it more when we get inside but was the second um, entrance in the garage in a separate garage 
and a little storage under here for the proverbial stinky slinky and that is your 30 gallon fuel cell talk about that when we get to the other side the other jack back here and we did get this with the patio party package you see all this uh how the ramp converts into really a, a patio with all the railings and everything that fold out talk about the awning when we get on the other side for a second but got nice leds back here to light up the patio area Let me get around here to the other side and we'll talk a little bit about the awning so um honestly the awning is sort of another disappointment um it, it, it's a nice enough awning but uh, somewhere in production grand design changed from the power carefree awning to the manual tool um, awning it's not a big deal um y'all know anybody's been around the channel for very long knows that i'm a massive researcher and never have i seen another one of these that that had the manual awning on it but this one does so not the end of the world I, i'll get cheryl to roll that thing out for me and it'll be it'll be fine so the other jack and then the fuel stations here get this opened up for you so have 30 gallons of fuel on board and that fuels um, obviously got the pump handles so you can fill up the talon there let me uh, show you in here that's your, your fuel gauge your pump all of that's in there this uh also fuels the um the generator we'll get to that in a second see on this side just one one slide on this side one slide on the other side the slide on the other side is the is the theater seats we'll show you that when we get inside this slide i will show you as well that is actually the bed in that slide it's another sort of weird deal here so that's the spare and uh even though we went and looked at it the day that it came from indiana and everything was fine when we went back to pick it up this uh left rear had gone flat and they had um so they took it off they ordered another wheel and tire they don't want to repair it they want to just have one that's not repaired i, I appreciate that and so Grand Design is supposed to be sending another wheel and tire. And I, I noticed on the spec sheet that it was this way, and I've actually ordered another Goodyear, but um, they put Westlake, put a Westlake Super ST on here uh, for the spare, which I, I just, you know me, I can't, can't stand that. So ordered another one, uh, hot water heater here. Why do I say that? It's not a, if it, the water was already hot, it wouldn't be a heater. So it's a cold water heater to make it hot. That is your black tank flush right there. Very good thing to have. I do have, we're just running on 15 amp, uh, just an extension cord from my shop. Central drain right here. This does have multiple blacks and grays uh, because of the bathroom setups and all that. So we will, uh, we'll show you how all that, how all that works. Uh, or the bathroom setup whenever we get inside the exhaust from the furnace from the refrigerator microwave and like i said the bed slide is here we did for 21 they, they've had these little windows on the sides and i i love those little windows so that that's that's really cool at the head of the bed i'll show you that when we get in there so in this compartment you have your nautilus system pretty simple on these you also can see your main battery shut off there do you have another cable connection over here 110 power over here this is your outside shower um, another kind of weird deal but didn't come with the sprayer but no big deal we'll get us we'll get a sprayer on there and let me close this back up and then in here we do plan to boondock quite a bit so in here we have our onan cummins 4000 watt generator and like I said, it's, it's gas powered and does pull fuel from that 30 gallon fuel cell. So very cool with all that. Should be great to boondock. Get another little view here of everything on this side. And uh, that's, that pretty much concludes the outside. Uh, I guess I should talk a little bit about the ladder. I forgot about that. Let's walk back down here, but it, it does have the fold out ladder. And then I don't know if you can see it or not, but they put a little helper up on top. This does have a one piece TPO roof. Obviously a good thing, fully walkable roof. Uh, I think I said it already, but fully walkable slide outs as well. 
so uh, overall we love the thing i said a couple of issues that uh, that grand design will take care of for us and uh, we'll be back with a lot more videos on the 31g and uh, we'll go inside in just a minute and uh, take a look around in all right y'all we're, we're inside the 31g and uh, this layout is really what uh, this is really what drew us to this trailer more than anything is we, we just love this layout and uh, let's give you a little look around here love the corner sink and how that sort of opened up the whole kitchen and um, the cabinet storage all of that was just really good so so let's start right here um, all of these these are three recliners uh, in this and it's obviously in a slide out uh, grand design put some these are touch lights up above and another thing we love is just these, these big windows I mean it's just so much light and uh, the windows are really 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 cool we thought um, just just stood stood out to us uh the tv's here and it it's a little bit of an odd tv placement but the it is on a arm and the arm really does come out there far enough to make all this work um so we're we're pleased with that i'll be honest with you i don't know how much tv watching we're gonna do so probably not why we're going camping so in here we have our control center and uh you can see the uh Got generator controls in here, got the power management system there, and uh, that allows the two ACs and all that to uh, to work on a 30 amp service. You see here, you got your slide controls, awning control, uh, the water pump, exterior lights, interior lights, awning lights, uh, the the water heater, whether you're gas or electric, all of your tank levels and all that are here we uh we really like that it had the rockford fosgate system in here i believe that's 300 watts and it has uh of course like we already showed speakers outside speakers inside come with the 10 inch woofer it's up here above the refrigerator uh the refrigerator is eight cubic feet uh nor cold and uh it's done really well. I've had it plugged in for a little bit now. We're just using 15 amp power coming from the shop, so uh, but plenty of power for that. And uh, I had thermometers in there, and it's doing great. Furion uh, cooktop and oven. The uh, requisite blue lights that are on everything. Glass cover. Pretty pretty nice setup um, all the way around. A little little oven not huge by any stretch but enough for cheryl to make me some biscuits or have a pizza in there or whatever and thing microwave again not not the biggest but plenty good for what we'll do and uh, a lot of storage let me open this up and then we'll kind of back up and look at it but a ton of storage here um another thing that we that really we really liked about this was just a huge huge amount of storage um, as you can see so plenty plenty of room and uh, they did some kind of interesting little things like this top shelf as you can see it, it sort of it just continues over into into that really really deep corner cabinets here so we like all of that uh, we didn't we really like the design here too uh, the kind of etched glass look uh, we really really liked um, backsplash of course down here got a little some more storage down here trash can in there and uh, drawers more, more drawers over here a sizable drawer down below here nice one and uh, drawers over here as well and we'll while, while we're right here on this shot let me let me talk about these vents um the heater is actually vented uh, not in the floor anywhere here, which is something we really liked. Obviously, we're riding side by sides, and we're going to be dirty getting in and out. And uh, really nice to have these vents in the cabinets. Uh, they're either in the cabinets or the walls. And we'll show you more as we go through. But um, I did. It's cold. It's the winter time, and it's cold. And I've been running the heater, and it it, it does really well in here, and uh, and and pretty even. Um, couple degrees cooler in the in the bedroom couple degrees cooler in the garage 
uh, but not not anything too serious so I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by it Got a nice deep single bowl stainless sink residential style pull out faucet there and uh, let's let's see where are we going let's let's go uh, uh, we'll show you the rest of this a little, a little bit more storage down here as well in the entertainment center uh, TCL Roku TV a lot of people change them but you know honestly I've, I've been out here messing with it a little bit seems perfectly fine to me so I'll probably just leave that alone uh, we'll touch on something that I thought was kind of cool um, this is a motion light so uh, really nice that you can just leave all the lights off and the second that you open the door then this lights on so you can see what's going on it's just little touches like that uh, that made a lot of difference to us and, and made a lot of difference in our choice so all right dual entry here uh, you can see the the bedroom there and these have uh, pocket doors pocket doors here as well and a decent size decent size bathroom i mean it's not it's not giant but plenty good for what we're doing again you see the the uh, heater vent coming out under the shower there nice porcelain toilets in both bathrooms and uh really nice spacious shower and very tall uh th this this coach really ha has eight foot ceilings so i mean there there's a ton of room uh, in there i'm gonna actually go and walk around through the bedroom and and uh, a little bit different angle here so see you got storage down there a little medicine cabinet up above plenty of room and then in the bedroom um I can move around here and i'm actually going to go back in the bathroom so i can get a little bit better view so you can see there you got pocket door there's sliding door the bed itself is in a slide this is a full-size queen uh, a 60 by 80 queen not the typical short rv queen and uh i'm a big guy and i i, I like that walk around bed you got plenty of room to get around here really nice big mirror backlit you got uh, plug-ins there usbs little corner storage um, like i said you got some storage above the bed over here you got really nice drawers um, plenty of storage for us i mean we're certainly not full timing in it and have no intention to do so so all of your uh, fuses and everything are in here a couple, couple more breakers there and a little storage down there and then this is hanging storage here which is not not huge by any stretch of the imagination but uh plenty good enough for what we'll do so hanging storage there we did uh we did option this with the second ac in the bedroom and uh, we'll talk a little bit about acs you can see the ducts that are in the ceiling so the, these both these acs are ducted in a racetrack system that's in the ceiling and uh, it works really well um, i ran it a little bit like i said it's been cold here so just to see how much air was coming out whatever it seems quite even in here to me so it seemed really nice for all that tv backer if you want to put a tv here obviously got cable and uh and uh, electric connections in the ceiling you have a separate uh, thermostat here just for your uh, bedroom ac make our way on through and uh, there's that motion light <laughs> coming on again uh, speakers in the ceiling second ACs right here one thing that that really drew us to this uh, configuration as well was this pantry I, I I love this pantry a lot of a lot of a lot of good storage in here you see a lot of shelves and everything there so really really good storage and then above um another, another lit storage that's that's up above matching cabinet door on there and uh let's uh let's go out in the garage matter of fact let's let's talk about this door first so you can hear the sweep there and then this door it's a nice residential style uh door with a big glass in it and this this seals up this is a vapor door so this this seals up so whatever's in the garage the smells and everything are not going to make their way um, into the main living area and that's that's one thing that was an absolute must for us uh, all the g-class trailers 
except the 29 and the 31 all have garages that you use the living area as the garage and and we were we were drawn to the 29 and the 31s just because of the separate garage which we absolutely was an absolute must for us all right so let's get a look at this let's give you a little look around here got the happy jack system queen bed up top and that that's all electric electric of course it'll come down and basically make queen bunk beds these uh couches are rollovers so that makes a queen bed on the bottom queen bed on the top don't know that we'll ever use that uh certainly we'll use it in this configuration and uh, might have some mods coming on here uh anybody's been around the channel knows that i can't uh, leave well enough alone so many many mods are coming uh, this is a 13 foot garage and uh, and it really is 13 feet and and some dimensions here you lose four inches because uh, when you do the three season doors which are also a must for us uh, we just love those things and and can see this just being more and more used as living space so you do lose four inches there but you do have a true 12 foot eight inches of of garage space from the three season doors to this to this front wall uh, a couple other dimensions that uh, that everybody with side by sides and golf carts and all that are going to be interested in but whenever these couches are folded flat and they're all the way in the up position you can see that they actually have legs under there you can see that uh, there's another set of legs that are on the back for when they're folded out and, and from the very bottom of the brackets on those legs to the floor is 75 inches so uh, with everything all the way up in the regular configuration you have 75 inches of clearance for for whatever toy you're putting in here these couches also will fold flat against the wall here and uh, whenever you do that there's up to the bottom of this upper queen there's 85 inches so there, there's actually 85 inches of clearance there um, you can see the way the three season doors are they they they're going to cut down a little bit on that clearance so you can stick to the 75 inches um, I believe that's about where how tall those doors are whenever these doors are open they slide back and then and then actually open up all the way so when when these doors are open this opening is 80 inches wide uh, so just about any of your side by sides our talons about 68 69 inches wide so gonna come through there with no problem another thing that was a really big selling point for us was the half bath in the in the garage um, we're going to treat this more like a mud room really so come back from riding be able to come in here uh, wash your hands go to the bathroom get off the boots get off your muddy clothes you know whatever and it not large by any stretch of the imagination but perfectly good so you got a little medicine cabinet going on a little storage on the side storage on the bottom it's another one of those heater vents there another porcelain toilet you can see up here another more storage up there as well so not a not a huge huge uh bathroom by any stretch but perfectly good uh, really feel blessed to have the half bath in the garage so uh heater vent down here and then let me back up so i can show you a little bit better but got storage up above um already got the step ladder for cheryl in there really tall cabinets so uh, the short wife requires the, the little bit of step stool for the for that and uh, another vent in the roof here and you can see the ac vents that are here and uh just take another little look around here and uh the, the patio out there I, I just see us using this just all the time um so that's that's pretty much our inside tour so we're uh we love this setup like i said this one reason we landed on this trailer was we just absolutely fell in love with this floor plan. Uh, it was perfect for us. The garage size was perfect for us. Um, we just we just really love everything about it. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, as always, please hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe. It, it really helps us with, uh, with Facebook and uh, with YouTube as well whenever we have subscribers here and I, I always share these YouTube videos on, on my Facebook uh, feed so uh, join us over there as well and uh, we just really appreciate everybody watching a lot more mods a lot more stuff a lot more adventures obviously coming up um, 
with, with the 31G toy hauler and the Talon. So uh, just really appreciative of everybody watching it and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions, any comments, please leave it down below. I'll have links uh, to Grand Design and uh, to whatever else I can figure out to link here uh, in the show notes. But uh, everyone have a great day and we'll see you next time.